Hi all, this is Maria Clark at Sweet Willow Designs and welcome to my studio. I am starting a series of pendants. Um, I really like the small size. These are great for craft shows and gift giving, so I think you'll really enjoy this series. I want to thank you all for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy these videos, give them a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I really enjoy hearing from you. So I've got a couple of ways I'm going to approach this. I've made these uh, circle cutouts just with a circle punch um, out of car heavy cardstock, and I'll paint on some of these. Um, and I will also use these uh, these blanks. These are wood blanks. You can do the show more button to see the tools and materials um, that I'll be using in these projects. And I've painted this blank black, of course, and I'll use my little mini stencil to get the center and make some marks so that it's easy for me to get a symmetrical pattern on this really small surface. Of course, I use a general chalk pencil. It's easy to get off. If you use a pencil, I, I have found it more difficult to get it off um, after I paint. But you could try using an art eraser if you don't have a chalk pencil. But these come off easily, or a water-soluble pencil would work as well. So just get your marks down on, find your center, and get your marks on. And we're ready to start painting. I'm just using two colors in this particular pattern. I'm using a purple and a yellow, and I really love the way purple and yellow look together. I just think it's so fresh and spring, so I really enjoy that. I've also placed my pendant blank on a piece of cardstock with some tape behind it, just to give me something to hold on to because the surface of the pendant is so small um, that my fingers get in the way. So I like to have a cardstock to uh, give myself a little working surface. So we'll go in with our, our center dot and just use our nail dotter to dot some yellow around that. Go back in with the purple. And of course I'm loving it already. These colors are so pretty. We'll walk the dots around the larger purple here. This is a really easy, simple pattern. I'm going to be doing um, as many of these as I think I can get reasonably accomplished. Um, and we'll try out lots of different patterns. I'll get all the way around with that. Go in with another round of purple. Get that in. See how easy making uh, putting it on the card makes it to get this turned. It's really, really nice. I like that a lot. And again, simple pattern. Let's just walk the dots around. I don't know how many of you do craft fairs. I don't do craft fairs very, very often, um, but I really love making jewelry, and I think these would be really nice sellers. This, this is, these are perfect size. These little wood discs, and they already have the hole in them. I do have some that have gl for a glue-on bail, which I love too. But these, um, these are nice. They have a hole already drilled for your. Um, your stringing and they're also a little bit domed these are not completely flat so they're a bit domed which makes them really really they look real professional I really like the way they look but you can use any kind of surface that you might have I mean you can find lots of wood laser cut out uh, laser discs and cutouts I just happen to like the fact that these have a slight dome on them okay we'll go in with um, another round of the purple Take it out to the edge. And because I'm at the edge, I'm going to walk the dots the other way around. And get that all the way around. When you're finished painting and these have really well dried, I'm going to add some top dots, but I'll just talk a little bit about varnishing and finishing. 
Um, I would seal these, uh, you know, after you're finished painting, take off uh, your chalk marks um, or erase your pencil marks. I would seal this with a water-based varnish. I tend to use Liquitex and I like matte, but you could use any kind of, of, uh, of sheen you like. If you like a high gloss or you like a satin, just use whatever you like. I just tend to like the matte. It does have a slight little bit of sheen, um, which I like, so I don't, I don't tend to like them very, very glossy, but a lot of people prefer that. I'm going in with the top dots and I just mixed some of the purple with a little bit of white to get a lighter shade. You could introduce another color here if you wanted. That would be really fun. Maybe like an orange or something might have, might be nice as top dots. And just try out some different things. That's why I think using the little discs for the um, for the cutouts is a nice way to get started with this. Now for this, because it already has a hole, I'm using a pinch on bale. This is so simple, it couldn't be easier. Uh, you just open it a little bit and then pinch it on and you're all set to go. It's really easy and there's lots of different ways. If you wanted to just string this, you know, let's say you have a pretty purple uh, cord or macrame cord or something like that, this would be great um, with that kind of uh, stringing material in it. You could put beads or whatever. I like the, the convenience of having um, this pinch on bale. So you can take a look at that. And then I'm just going to use a simple black uh, waxed, this is actually a waxed linen cord and it's a pre-made it's a pre-made piece so you can find these at craft stores and things like that it's got a lobster claw clasp on it and that really makes a nice presentation so isn't that pretty I think that looks really cute so I'm going to be doing a whole series as I mentioned of these I'm really looking forward to that I hope you enjoy a series of these projects here's a little bit of a close-up of this And you could, of course, change out the colors any way you like and use colors that you love or that you think um, your customers would enjoy. I think that would be really great. And that's it. Really simple. And we're going to try out, as I mentioned, quite a few designs over the next uh, weeks. I'll be putting some uh, videos out for you. So I want to thank you for joining me in my studio. I hope you liked this really simple, quick project. Thanks for subscribing, liking the video, leaving me a comment. I really appreciate it. Check the show more button uh, for the links um, for products um, and you'll uh, be able to find everything down in that description. So again, thank you all for joining me in my studio. Take care.